Hi, my name is John. Welcome to the third in a series of short videos all about this Artec 260 inverter AC DC welder. In this episode, I'm going to cover stick welding and I'm going to show you some of the features that are built into this welder to make stick welding a lot easier and a lot simpler. At the minute, the welder is set up for TIG welding. I've got a positive earth, negative live. That's the gas outlet for the TIG torch and that's a control for the foot pedal. So we don't need the TIG torch. We won't need that. You can leave, leave that connected if you want to, but I'm going to take it out just to show how simple this is. We don't need the gas. Now stick welding, 99% of the time is negative earth, so we'll take that positive, connect that out of there into the negative, so we've got negative earth. This is what they call a stinger, that's your electrode holder. That simply goes into the positive side of the machine. So we've got negative earth, positive live, your electrode goes into there. I've powered the welder up and we're going to be interested in this part of the screen here as well as this part of the screen. At the minute it's on high frequency TIG. Next one down is high frequency lift TIG. Next one down is stick welding. On stick welding, this machine, the coolant fan, runs all the time. It's fan on demand on TIG, but stick, it runs all the time. Right, so now it's set on stick welding. There you are, welding lamps up there. I'm going to be using a 3.2-60-13 rod, and I'll burn them in about 120, 125 amps. Seems to work quite well on this machine. So that's 125 amps, straight DC, We'll run a rod and see what sort of results we'll get. That was a little bit hot. I'm going to turn it down 110 amps and run another one. That's better, it's a lot more controllable. They're reasonable welds. The second one was slightly colder. Nothing the matter with them. That rod burned quite well, its initial start was good, but it wasn't wonderful. Now we're going to go into this part of the menu across here. The first one is arc force. It measures arc force as a percentage, it goes from 0 to 100%. What arc force does if you're welding in the welding rod tries to stick and bumps up the welding current to stop it from sticking. It controls how forceful the arc is. The bottom one is hot start amps. As the name entitles, hot start amps, it gives you a hot armage on starting. Once again, it's variable between zero and 100%. The middle one is a timer. That tells it how long to have the hot start activated. I know we run about 1.2%. So we'll set this up, we'll burn another rod and see what total results we get. The right, arc force I run at 50% on these rods. Hot start amps I run it normally about 50% as well, so it gives it 50% more current during start up. And I want that on for 1.2 seconds. So I'll build a rod at that and see what sort of results we'll get. This well is the same, the same rod, a 6013 rod at 110 amps, but I've got the arc force at 50%. See so with the hot start, it's a much more fiat start, it burns straight in, no attempt at sticking. I'm pushing the rod in there, I can feel the flux rubbing, and it's just burning rod going straight in. That really is biting in deep there. We'll do another one. The start is instant. That 
There's not much to look at in the two wells, but it did start easier. That was no attempt at the rod to stick, and they're going in quite nicely. The 718 rod on straight, 120 amp DC. Don't want to, doesn't want to start. We'll run another one to finish the, finish the rod off. Right, they're both decent welds as well. I've turned up the arc force and the hot start and I've tried two more runs with a fresh 718. Starts much easier. Burning in really well, that's depositing metal very nicely. All I'm doing is gently pulling the rod back. Happy with that. You can see the end of the rod there on the 718, how it's burnt away. The actual electrode behind the flux. I'll just get a disc and just rub the, the flux off. They've got a nice clean end of the rod and it should start again easily, especially set up the way I've got it set up. Really good start. Right there, nice welds. I've got a fillet weld set up. I'm going to do it with a 6013 rod. That's the weld we've just done with the 6013. The end's not very good where I've come out of the weld because I'm trying to weld on the camera and basically I'm not a welder. But that part there is pretty good. I've also welded the other side. I'm going to put this in the face outside and do a little mechanical test on it just to see what sort of hold it's got. But basically the weld looks reasonable for somebody that just kind of pisses about. So that's a 3.2 6013 rod with 110 amps with 50% hot start and 50% arc force. I've done a visual test on the weld and I'm quite happy with that. I'm now going to do a mechanical test. We'll see what fares up. Right, it broke off, but it didn't break at the weld. It didn't break at the weld, it broke just above it. So the weld hasn't failed, the metal's actually torn off. But I mean, now it's hitting the bastard. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video as much as I enjoyed making it. It does show some of the features that are built into the software are really beneficial uh, there, so you might as well use them. 
So all I can say is thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you don't decide to buy Nortec product, mention me in the phone call. Anyway, thanks for watching.